Greetings, Odoers. Our company, Stealthywood Inc., has proved to be successful this year, and we have just started a new fiscal year. This means that it's time for us to close the last fiscal year and generate all of our financial statements. These reports will be used to analyze and review our company's business operations and performance. Now, most companies mirror the calendar year, meaning that their fiscal year ends on December 31st. However, this is not mandatory, and it's up to us to decide which time of the year best suits us. At Stealthywood Inc., we decided to stick with December 31st. By the way, if you're watching this video around that time, Happy New Year's! Now, before closing the year and generating the statements, we have to make sure that everything is in order and accurate. To do so, I have a small checklist that can help. First things first, I make sure that all invoices, bills, and expenses are recorded and validated in Odoo. Most of the time, I have to chase after the employees who kept the receipts perfectly organized in their pockets. I also reconcile everything that is not yet reconciled. This includes all transactions from my cash and bank accounts, as well as reconciling my bank statements to be sure that they are in agreement with my bank balances in Odoo. It's also time to close the clearing and suspense accounts and leave their balances at zero. These are both temporary accounts. A clearing account allows us to record a transaction and hold it for later posting once we are sure to which account it goes. And a suspense account is used when there is a problem or an uncertainty and we still want to record an amount. For example, when a customer sends us a certain amount of money, but we still have to investigate to be sure we apply it to the correct invoice or invoices. Now, a tricky aspect of accounting is that values and payments are not really limited by a legal date, nor can always be valued only once a year. Still, they have to be clearly recorded for the yearly statements to be accurate. Then I verify the balance sheet items and the book entries for the depreciation journal entries. This is when something such as a car loses value over the years. Since they last more than one year and depreciate with time, the value has to be adjusted every year in our accounting. I also make sure that the deferred revenues are correctly recorded. Deferred revenues are prepayments from a customer, making us in debt of a product yet to deliver or service surrender. Finally, I double check our accrued revenues and expenses. Accrual accounting is a method that recognizes a company's performance when the economic events occur and not when the cash transactions are made. For example, a construction company who works on a two-year project will record each month a part of the grand total as accrued revenues, rather than the few times that they are paid. As for the accrued expenses, it's the same logic. An expense belongs economically to a certain time, but is paid later, as it can be for our employees' wages that we pay on the first of the following month. Of course, the way all of this is dealt with greatly varies according to the company's localization and the way accountants work and do their magic. To help with that, Odoo does its own kind of magic. Reports are created in real time and closing and opening entries are automated as well, based on the previous year's entries. With this, we can focus more on what matters. So let's see how we can do this with Odoo. All right, so here I am on my database, specifically on the accounting application. So let's go straight to configuration settings. From the settings page, we're going to scroll down to the fiscal period section. All right, so here we can go ahead and define the last day of our fiscal year. So by default, it's going to be December 31st. All right, but you can go ahead and change this if you need to. And if you would like to define a fiscal year that's more or less than a year, you can select this option and go ahead and save and then come back to configure. However, we're not going to do that. So I'm going to discard this and then we're going to go back to our apps overview, go to settings, users and companies, users. I'm going to select my user, go to edit. All right. And then we're going to check out this accounting and finance section. All right. So here um, we have different levels of access for um, our users. So uh, we can say billing, accountant, advisor, or nothing simply. All right. But Without going too much into detail, I just want to say that the most um, important thing to remember here is that the advisor has the most rights in Odoo accounting. And among other things, they are the only one who can manage the chart of accounts, reconciliation, and tax adjustment. Okay, so it's really important to keep that in mind. So let's be sure that I'm an advisor, and we're going to save, and then we're going to jump back to the accounting application. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and set a lock date for the uh, fiscal year. So let's go to accounting, lock dates. Okay, so we want to be sure that the lock date is the last day of the financial year we are closing. So let's go back to December. 
All right, we're gonna choose the 31st. And we're also choosing this lock date for non-advisors, okay? This way, only users with an advisor role can still work on these entries so that the accountant can be confident that nobody is changing the previous year's transactions while auditing the books, which is quite important. All right, so now let's go ahead and save this. Okay, and this is where we're going to start checking things off of our um, checklist. And these steps vary greatly depending on both your localization and your methodology. But I'm going to go ahead and go to reporting and to my balance sheet. Okay, so here I want to be sure that I'm looking at the correct date. So I want to say as of my last, uh, as of the end of the last financial year. However, by default, it might say as of today. So we want to be sure we change that. Okay, and then if we scroll down, we're going to see our unallocated earnings here, all right, which is $125,000. So we want to allocate the current year earnings in order to have the total current year unallocated earnings reporting a balance of zero. So here we're going to allocate all the earning, all the current year earnings to retained earnings. All right, so let's go ahead and do that by going to accounting and creating a journal entry. All right, so let's again, let's go ahead and choose a date in the past, December 31st, and we're going to call this um, 2018 closing. Okay, we'll keep the journal as miscellaneous operations. Let's go ahead and add an account. So the first count, account will be our undistributed profits and losses. Now, this account is automatically created by Odoo to put the unallocated year earnings. It's only condition, and let me show you. All right. It's only condition to work well is that its type is set as current year earnings. Okay. So right here you see type current year earnings. All right. So that's important. Let's go ahead and save this. Under debit, we're going to go ahead and put the amount. Okay. Looks good. Then we're going to go ahead and add a second line. And actually I'm going to create a new account. So to do that, I simply have to create and edit. This code will be 300, 300. All right, the name is going to be uh, retained earnings. All right, and this is going to be type equity. Okay, so um, since I am creating an equity account for this operation, and since um, it's type equity, the normal balance is a credit. Okay, so let's go ahead and save this. And as we can see, the credit is applied there. All right, and we're going to go ahead and post this. Cool. Now we're going to go back to our reporting section, balance sheet. Okay, going back to our balance sheet and scroll down and we see that now it's balanced. Okay, it looks good. So our current year earnings and current year allocated earnings balance each other so that there's no unallocated earnings remaining. So now we see that we uh, correctly move the amount in retaining earnings and as expected, the assets equal the liabilities plus the equity. So we're good to go. So now what we're going to do is uh, go back to lock our dates, and we're going to lock the date forever for all users this time. All right, choo -choo -choo, the 31st. Okay, and let's go ahead and save this. Boom. All right, so now nothing can be changed. So once you're done with everything, you're good to go. Odoo generates automatically the reports in real time, and there's no need to generate manually the reports, nor to worry about the op opening of the new fiscal year. So at the beginning date of the fiscal year, the account balances will be zero. All right, but now what we're going to do is go to reporting, the general ledger. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and unfold all. And then we can um, generate an XLXX file, or we can print a preview as well. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll check it out. And there you go. We have that report easily right here. And it looks good. Our total is zero. That's perfect. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.